New at 6, more information on USU women's volleyball team forfeiting the game against a team with a transgender player. It is our top story tonight on 2 News at 6. I'm Heidi Hatch. I'm Mark Cabell. 2 News says told people close to team members initiated the move and then at least two lawmakers ended up getting involved. Brian Malay, he is live in Logan tonight. And Brian, where did this information come from? From Utah House Speaker Mike Schultz, who told it to me just this afternoon. Images of USU volleyball from its Coach's Corner show. On campus, the forfeit to San Jose State because of a trans player. I think it's a good thing. I think that biological men should not be in women's sports. Is a winning spike for some. I don't know, it's a little disheartening that, that, that they would allow this to happen. A losing lob for others. A little frustrating. Today, we serve chances for USU to elaborate at the athletic department and at University Public Relations. The return shot, no further explanation than this release announcing USU Volleyball, quote, will not participate in the San Jose match. Mr. Speaker. But House Speaker Mike Schultz says, there were people on behalf of the players that reached out to us first. There have been several of us talking to the university president, including myself and Representative Kira Berkland. But the speaker says it was the players who ultimately made the decision and that faculty supported them. Number of people will not agree with this statement, but the speaker this afternoon told me, quote, men should not be playing in women's sports, period. Live in Logan, Brian Malahi, KUTV2 News.